London meteor shock as locals report a huge fireball lighting up the London sky. But it wasn't just London, we had one over the United States as well. Out of nowhere, now Tom Fish reports this on Express UK, London was illuminated by a meteor tonight. Many lucky locals taking to Twitter, discussing the appearance of a surprise space rock over East London. Some of the eyewitness accounts were in Southeast London when they caught a glimpse of the meteor streak overhead. So and that means they were um, past the London Eye, past the Parliament, towards that area uh, near the Thames River, I would say. Now, some of the eyewitnesses' accounts were uh, Southeast London when they caught the glimpse of the meteor streaking overhead. Robert Curry took to social media and to ask anyone just see a super bright meteor over London traveling northwards. I'm in South London, and it shone white yellow that burnt to bright green, blue green flash. Happened around 5:77 p.m. Amateur astronomer George Miller recorded dramatic footage of the London meteor, writing on Twitter: "Fireball seen from London, 24 September, at 1945 UK Meteor Observation Network. UK Meteor Network." released a still image of the bright light in the sky, but could not confirm it was a meteor in question. Well, when you see the little uh, clip of it, it certainly does seem so. Now, uh, they are significantly smaller than asteroids and range in size from small grains to one meter wide objects. Objects smaller than this are classified as micrometeoroids or dust, uh, 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 space dust. And a few days back, we had something similar over Alberta, Canada. This was taken by the American Meteor Society. Tom Fish Express UK reports this. The dash cam of a fireball. Footage shows Pace Rock hurtling above Alberta. Alberta, Canada. U.S. Space Agency NASA has announced this. They confirmed this. People in parts of Ontario and Western New York witnessed a similar sight during Labor Day, which was reportedly accompanied by loud booms. Now, there has been some people commenting to me today that they've heard loud booms over their areas. Well, I think one was over North Carolina. Well, you know, usually when it's daytime, you can't really see these celestial objects coming in. You just hear the sound. Uh, so it could be that it's a fireball coming in that you've heard. Um, but you can't see it because of the daylight. Now, people in parts of Ontario and Western New York witnessed similar sights during Labor Day, reportedly accompanied by large booms, both events likely the consequence of a meteor incinerating as it hurtled into Earth's atmosphere, creating a sonic boom. The Saturday night fireball captured on Carr's dash cam outside Edmonton, Alberta, was around 10.30 p.m. local time. More than 175 people from Alberta reported seeing this same fireball to the American Meteor Society. Fewer people reported the New York fireball, which was separate, which occurred around 5 p.m., but it made an impression on those who experienced it. One eyewitness said, This bright, fast streak in the late afternoon appeared against a brilliant blue sky, and after sparkling with a flash of rainbow colors, disappeared behind a fluffy white cloud. Okay, because, you know, you have clouds in the sky. Obviously, if it was a cloudy sky, you probably would not have seen the flash. Twitter user tmain334 said, I was in Abbottstown, Pennsylvania, and saw it here. Huge white light that streaked across the sky and faded into nothing but a dot the size of a needle. It was amazing, especially seeing it in broad daylight. Others reported hearing the fireball but not seeing it. With local media receiving reports of a sudden unexplained boom, the American Meteor Society believes it was most likely a fireball created when a small meteor hits Earth's atmosphere and burns up. Bill Cook of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office said, based on data available at this time, I would say that the sonic boom heard was caused by a fireball. NASA defines fireballs as meteors bigger than the planet Venus.
NASA defines fireballs as meteors brighter, not bigger, brighter, sorry, than the planet Venus. Okay. U.S. agency NASA uses 17 cameras in its all-night, all-sky fireball network to, pr to photograph these fireballs. The nearest camera to upstate New York is based in northeastern Ohio, Ohio. And unfortunately, Monday's fireball was not caught on camera because the cameras are turned off during the day to protect them from sunlight damage. Meteors incinerate in Earth's atmosphere on a daily basis, creating iridescent fireballs several times every month. The majority of space rocks or dust is completely consumed by the friction of colliding with our atmosphere, and it's far rarer for a meteorite to survive the friction until the surface, and almost unheard of for a space rock to do much damage when they do make it. The most famous case of a bolide was one that exploded over Chelyabinsk, Siberia in 2013. That was a house-sized asteroid that went undetected until its collision with our atmosphere sent out shock waves that blew the thousands, out thousands of windows. A thousand people were injured and 7,000 buildings were uh, damaged because of that. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.